so I have to film on my phone because my camera's dead. Great. <laughs> guys so I'm actually filming this on my phone and not my camera but this lighting is really good so I think it's chillin um, but I have finally moved into my dorm you can see a little glimpse of it in the back um, and I figured I would do a how I store my makeup in my dorm situation because I remember when I was getting ready to move uh, figuring out how to store things but really cheap and like really like dorm friendly was huge for me because I have a lot of makeup I want to bring a lot of it because I do use it very often um, but I want to find a way that was affordable because I didn't want to spend like thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars on like expensive makeup storage. Um, and yeah, this is just like how I store all my makeup in my dorm and I go to a school in Manhattan so we don't have a lot of space because they can't have huge dorms here. Um, like a lot of other schools have really, really big dorms or they have really, really small dorms so like, we're kind of like in the middle I think. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how I store my stuff for all my makeup. And my brushes as well actually um so if you like this video comment like and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see in another video if you want to see a dorm tour if you want to see like a vlog about like how i go to school and stuff but yeah this is it thanks for watching so like here's an overview of my desk it's kind of a little a little messy um this is me in my pajamas <laughs> um but this is pretty much my storage area i have my mirror and all my lipsticks all my makeup and then all of my brushes up here so we'll just get into it um so this is my mirror that i've always used it's an ihome mirror i got from a birthday um i think it's 150 dollars but it was a birthday present so yeah um this is where i store all of my lipsticks and stuff so um it's just a turning situation i got it off amazon it can hold up to 62 lipsticks i believe um and yeah, I have to move it a little bit sometimes just so it can go all the way. But these are all my Jeffree Star lipsticks. One is missing because it's in my purse because I wore it a couple nights ago. Um, and then these are my Ofra lipsticks. Um, some Smashbox ones, some NYX ones, um, some ColourPop, and some Lime Crime ones. This is mostly a NYX area, but um, I have a few outliers. Um, this is a lot of like lip, lippy sticks rather than liquid lipsticks or lip glosses. Um, but I try to keep them all sort of organized in a specific way. So these are all my Urban Decay and then my Wet n Wild. My two favorite nude glosses. Um, these are like shimmery um, like lip toppers. And these are two Anastasia ones and then some ColourPop lippy sticks. Now if we can move it back this way. And then these are two Maybelline lipsticks, a Cap on D. Um, Lancome, MAC, more of a decay, and then a Jouer by lipstick situation, and I don't know what... Oh, and these are like lip scrubs. And then these are three lipsticks that just like, I didn't really know where to put them. Um, I use this one quite a lot, so that's why I put that one up here, but I didn't really know where to put these two because I wanted to have like all pink and then all red, and so I had an extra pink one and an extra um, limited edition black one, so yeah. But this is from Amazon, I will link it down below. Just fit 62 lipsticks. Obviously, I don't. I didn't bring 62 with me. I just brought. Um, well, I did bring 62 with me, but I didn't bring like enough to like fit up here because I brought a lot of like lippy sticks with like, the ColourPop ones. You could fit two into a hole. Um, and yeah. And then this is up here. So I have my two setting sprays, um, my beauty blenders up there, eyelash curler clips when I pull my hair back, and then um, a tweezer. This is a big set. It's an extra large set from Amazon. It has another big thing up here where you can put lipsticks, but I didn't bring it because I had that. Um, and so I have all my face products, like foundation, powder, concealer, primer. These are all highlighters, blushes, contour. This is um, mascaras, um, single eyeshadows, and eye primers. These are extra lip lippies that didn't like really fit into here very well. Um, and then pencil eyeliners. Um, eyebrow gel and lip liners and these are fake eyelashes mascara this is all glitter um, and pigments and these are eyeshadow palettes so I'll just show you guys what they look like so they're pretty deep and they go back pretty far so I have a lot of foundation in here I brought all of my foundation concealer collection here actually because um, I don't wear it 
to begin with, but it still fits. Um, and then these are all of my um, blushes and highlighters that I brought. I brought a lot of these as well, actually. And can contours are at the bottom. Um, here are single eyeshadows. I have my Naked Basics eye primers, and then a lot of all of my ColourPop eyeshadows. Um, these are like two extra lippies, and then, um, or actually a lot of extra lippies that I didn't realize. Um, and then a lot of like eyeliners and lip liners. Um, false eyelashes and mascara. you know um, and then palettes so I did bring a lot of palettes I brought two ColourPop ones Shade and Light, Urban Decay Heat by Lost Boy Grail um, Anastasia Nicole Guerrero and then Moonchild and then um, Modern Renaissance Subculture my Jeffree Star palettes Urban Decay Aurora and then two Tarte palettes um, one is the unicorn one, and one is the C one, Rainforest of the Sea, Volume Two. And then I have my like everyday stuff here, so my everyday mascara, um, and then pomade, eyebrow pencil, and this is a new blush I got, but it doesn't fit. So once I start pulling, and it doesn't fit into here because I brought the exact amount of makeup that I needed, <laughs> without thinking about um, you know, makeup that I wanted to buy later on because I'm in New York, there's fours everywhere. But I got the Milani Luminoso blush, it doesn't fit into here just yet. So once I start figuring out what my everyday highlighter for this year is gonna be, I'll take that out and replace it with that blush. Um, and then in here, I have playbills and stuff, but I have um, my uh, freaking cotton swabs. I always use the Precisely ones. I use them for my eyebrows and not eyeliner, surprisingly. Uh, and then I have exfoliating uh, pads, which I use for my makeup remover, which is in the bathroom. And I have the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette because that was, um, it actually would have fit into here perfectly, but I got this after I had put all my palettes in there, and so I just figured I would keep it in here for now. Um, but yeah, that's actually how I just store my makeup. It's um, super, super handy, and it's really big, and it fits perfectly on my desk, as you can see. So yeah, there's all my makeup. And then here are my brushes. This is also from Amazon and it looks really, really small when you get it, but it actually holds all the brushes that I needed perfectly. So these are all my face brushes um, and then my big eyeshadow brushes. And then these are all my like small eyeshadow brushes and highlighter brushes. And they all fit really, really well. Um, and it's really, really convenient and nice. But yeah, these are just all of the things. So yeah, it, it's not a huge, like storage situation it's just all from amazon and it was all pretty cheap i think everything added up to be like almost a hundred dollars which i think is pretty good because this is really really big and it's i love the acrylic of all of this it all matches really well um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy and yeah that's it <laughs> Um, yeah, that was a quick video, but I hope you guys enjoy and really let me know if you guys want to see a dorm tour If you want to see like how I do my everyday school makeup, it's um, the last day before school starts actually So I'm gonna film this and edit it and hopefully get it up within the next week or two And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching subscribe and let me know what you want to see next